Hi, it's Vicky here and today I'll make two cards combining two card kits by Simon Says Stamp. So from the April card kit I'll be using these craft uh, pattern papers. These papers have uh, gold foil details and uh, they are just uh, gorgeous. I just love how shiny they are. And I'll also be using these uh, star gold brads. And uh, this is a booklet which is actually from the previous card kit by Simon Says Stamp. It's uh, from the March card kit. Now, as you can see, these are great for um, making uh, Project Life or uh, those pocket albums that uh, lots of people use. But I'm going to show you how easy they can uh, work out on a card. I have chosen a few of these 3x4 papers and I'll create two cards. So let's get started with card number one. For my first card, I've chosen these three pattern papers from this booklet and I am going to use my paper trimmer because there is a grey border at uh, the top of each one of those cards. So I am uh, cutting it, this out and uh, then I am going to layer one on top of the other. Now the one with the shoes is going to be the focal point and all the rest of them are going to be at the background just to add a bit of interest. But uh, first of all I want to embellish somehow the shoes, so I decided to use this embroidery floss which is gold and I am going to use my needle and a piercing mat and uh, what I'm doing is uh, poking the shoes with my needle to create some holes and then all I have to do is to shoe over the laces and actually replace them with my gold thread. As you can see, I have finished uh, sewing the laces and I am securing uh, the thread at the back with some uh, scotch tape. I just love how shiny the shoes are and uh, this uh, really adds a, a tone of elegance on the card. Now with my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen, I am going all over the yellow letters and adding some shimmer. I am taking my time because I want this to be neat and once that's there I am uh, poking another hole and I am going to use one of the star brads just where the word shoes is. I just want to emphasize that word a bit more. And now it's time to assemble my card so I am going to stick one on top of the other. I'm using my tape adhesive at the back and as I'm uh, sticking them one on top of the other I'm making sure that I can see the different pattern papers from the sides. I am also curling up the edges. Oh and this is where Ginger decided to grab the lollipop from the card kit by Simon Says Stamp but of course I can't let him have that. So as you can see he has grown up so much and he is just adorable. Okay, now that he has left my table, I can uh, go on with my card making. I am uh, going to stick that at uh, the top of my card base. The card base is a um, standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And just because I like to have embellishments in uh, threes, I added a couple of uh, more uh, gold stars here and there. So again, I'm using my piercing mat. I'm making a hole and then um, adding the star. And now I'm uh, finally ready to stick it on top of my card. I am going to use some foam adhesive at the back to add a bit of dimension. Notice that my foam adhesive isn't too thick, so it does add dimension, but it doesn't make uh, the card too bulky. To finish off my card, I am going to use some uh, glossy accents over the yellow letters. 
I have one of those fine line applicators with a fine tip and I have uh, added some glossy accents inside. So I am going to take my time and uh, go all over the letters with this uh, fine tip applicator. This makes the job really easy because I can uh, really control how the glossy accent flows. Now just because a glossy accent is a bit uh, thick, you need to press uh, a little bit uh, hard on the bottle. I get a lot of questions of how I add my liquid inside those fine tip uh, applicators. It, actually, it's not uh, so difficult. You, all you have to do is to unscrew that blue uh, top with the needle and uh, you just pour in the liquid. You can use one of your, uh, a tiny funnel if you have one or you can make one with paper or plastic. You will see photos of the card at the end of the video. Now let's move on to card 2. For my second card I'll be using this uh, 3x4 uh, paper which has the mirror on top and I am again cutting out the border, the grey border that's at the top and I had this idea to create a second card out of this mirror so I used my craft knife to create an X and now with my scissors I am cutting out the inside of the mirror this way I am creating a hole inside the mirror which is actually going to be the window of the shaker card This is one of the papers that's included in the April card kit by Simon Says Stamp and uh, I am cutting it out just slightly smaller than the 4x5 uh, paper that I have with the mirror and uh, I am going to be using some uh, tape adhesive at the back and stick a piece of transparency. Making shaker cards is uh, so much fun and actually makes the card uh, special. I love to hand out uh, shaker cards because uh, it always brings a smile to the recipient and I love to see how they shake the card up and down to see how the particles are moving. I am going to use my tape adhesive around the window and make sure that I create a nice and tight wall let's say where uh, all the particles are going to be trapped inside i am going to double up the adhesive so i have uh, one foam on top of the another and this will make sure that uh, my little sequins are going to be moving uh, nicely inside the window so i'm adding some of uh, the smallest uh, sequins that i have there and once i'm happy with the amount i am going to peel off the adhesive and uh, stick my cardstock on top this will uh, going to completely enclose the sequins inside the window I have cut out a piece of uh, this uh, pattern paper with uh, the stripes of gold so I am going to stick that with some tape adhesive on top and this is going to be my focal point. For my card I'm using a standard card that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. This is a top folding card and I am using some tape adhesive at the back of my focal point and I am going to center it on my card. To finish off my card I am creating a double bow out of this gold embroidery floss. I am going to add the gold bow on the mirror and this is one of those little details that I always like to add on my cards at the end and actually think that uh, this is going to bring everything together. And I have uh, added uh, some uh, multimedium by Ranger on this uh, fine line applicator so I can add just a tiny dot there and stick the bow on uh, the handle of the mirror. And these were the cards for today, combining two card kits by Simon Says Stamp. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And here are two more cards to inspire you. The first one is from this month's April card kit by Simon Says Stamp and the second one is from last year's April card kit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and thank you for watching.